Focus about. Whoa. Okay, fella.
Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Morning, mister. learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again, and you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed, because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Thank <laughs> you. 
Esther? You done enough harm here. You don't have to worry about me. Mm hmm Just relax now. See ya. Happy to assist you in a moment. How can one crook raise so much hell? May I help you? Must have been big trouble you made at that price. See you later. Morning. Nice day, ain't it? Yes, and Out of the way! I'll get it. Mister? Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Uh, hey there, partner. Hi there. Oh, hello. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Sorry, can't help you there. No problem. Thank you. Take care now. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. I ain't playing around. I'll plug you one, I swear. Oh, take it easy, uh. folks. Let's be civil. For all I care. Uh, take it easy, I got them bagel. <laughs> Should have thought about that. Uh, okay, okay, didn't mean to. Uh, uh, Don't have a bitch. Treating you.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
Sir, please help me out of here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Hey, boy. Nice folks around here. Yep. <laughs> so up now. Boy. Yep. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning?
Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chilonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Just a kid! You're making a big mistake! 
I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Please, God! I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard. <laughs> Thank you. 
I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shimonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Is there a problem here? Now are you. Hey, you mind your damn step. Make hey, it quick or I might run Howdy, friend. Again. Mind yourself. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, it's right, right time. Ah. Can't say I'm happy to see you masked. You're about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. We 
We've had about enough of you around here. Hello, mister. Hey there. Beautiful day. I'm glad for it. Well, all the best. Bye now. Excuse me, partner. Evening, partner. Sure yeah, I tell you, life ain't easy. I blame it on the curse. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to hear this. Goodbye now. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift, saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Okay, boy. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Why could you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in. Half that town. Come 
calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. Which ah. way, Arthur? So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. All right, let's go round them up. What? Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know were dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in. It'll be quicker this way, trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Hey, 
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25 percent. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. <laughs> Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? We shook on 18, I believe. Well, we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Look out! You bastard! Huh? Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. 
Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? <sighs> You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott Why not? Mark you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch vent.